Hey everybody, we are back at Misty Mountain Games for our pre-modern event. We got the two biggest names in the, in the event, really. Uh, we got Sam Black back at the table. He's playing his band control deck against Caleb Durward playing... I think it was Alert. Um, I thought I was saying, because Caleb played Alert at the last tournament. This is not the right name for this deck. <laughs> it's the... the what, bug, bug, I believe last event we called it... Bug Garbo Beat Bug down. Garbo Beats, yeah. Uh, so do you you want to talk about um so i saw caleb's list and he was playing a learn that he fell back to the the deck that he was um he did well with last tournament yeah but, he not paid last but i know it. i know on stream he was talking about brewing something so i guess at the last moment he kind of he kind of uh got cold feet yeah a little worried so. have you done that have you brought brews to a tournament and then switched to a more standard deck yeah. At um, LobsterCon, I was ready to play Terragon, and the night before, I just, like, threw it in the garbage, and um, all four Mox Diamonds and Terravors and everything, and just uh, went with Lightning Angels, and it worked out. Yeah, I've, I've, I've ditched my deck at the last minute many times, and it's, it's always a weird decision, you know, but... Uh, I don't know. Usually when I do it, I'm pretty happy with that I did it. Sometimes I'm not. All right. So players are getting things started. Sam starts with a Flooded Strand while the Allure deck kicks it off with a Lantern Race and then a Veteran Explorer. So the Veteran mm. Explorer, if it dies, it can... Um, have, each player would search their deck for two basic lands, and they come into play untapped. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes that's relevant that you can get, like, a big mana boost, especially with Caleb having Cabal Therapy, where it could just sit in your graveyard and you can flash yeah. it back. That you could... It's actually, like, a, a dark ritual in that sense, but... Do you think it creates any kind of staring match with land tax in the mix? Where, yeah, like, it'll, one player doesn't want to... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, because the effect is symmetrical. Yeah. So, but, I mean, I guess... I don't... How does that... Like which one player has to decide like how many lands they're getting right before yeah. the other? I don't I don't know exactly. I think maybe you gotta it, wonder how you feel about it <laughs> on both sides. So. I am TG PhD. Is that Flint Espil? Yes. The champion of lobster yes. lobster champion Flint, undisputed national champion North American of North Amer our yeah. North American champion Flint Espil. Caleb Sachs of Delta, he's going to get a swamp in play. <laughs> we do have people chiming in about the deck name for for, for Caleb. So okay. I guess if, if the creatures start coming, then maybe the Buck, <laughs> buck Garbo Beatdown might come back up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I I can't help feeling it's going to come down to Garbo Beatdown here. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, Sam does have, like, counter spells in his, mm -hmm. in his list. And so, but the thing is, um, if, if Caleb's given time... He's just able to find Cabal Therapy, and it's so problematic. Like, you need two counter spells to deal with one Cabal Therapy. And... Oh, like, yeah. It's like, if Caleb... Like, Sam's main game plan against a lot of decks is to buy time with life. Mm -hmm. And Caleb doesn't care about your opponent. You can yeah. gain a, a ton of life, and you could just combo them out. So, I don't, I don't know. I feel like... The, if, other, the other thing is, Caleb plays Deed, and Sam's deck is all about putting a whole bunch of trash in play. Yeah. And there you do. You do see the pernicious seed. And yep. so, uh, yeah, this is going to be hard for Sam because this kind of set things up. He needs to put scroll racks and land tax and ivory towers. Yep. And, and so at some point, Caleb's going to gain card advantage just by removing a number of cards with this pernicious seed. Yeah, Sam even the control deck here. He's, <laughs> he's got to... right, We already have someone uh, uh, comment or complimenting the the stream or the, the commentators and the players. So I BK suggested this. I'm like, I don't know if I want to show Sam again. We just showed him, but oh yeah, um, yeah. He's Mike. The, Mike doesn't like putting the same person out there twice the, in a row. The star, but I'm like, too much. you you honestly cannot just not show Sam Black versus Caleb Dewar. <laughs> I mean, I also enjoy like any of the decks that are slower because it it gives times like you know the game's gonna go a little bit mm -hmm. longer and. Uh, gives me t more time to talk and kind of analyze things but yeah yeah for sure but i know it's not everyone's i, f I feel like last time we had some some land still deck land still decks 
up on stream and people were complaining so i'm trying to think of the people but and sam what is this what did sam just play here it's i don't know cleansing yeah. i don't recognize that card it, okay a, i think it's from like one of the modern masters um all right answer found is that what he had lightning tutored for i turned my head away i was focusing on other things but i have to imagine can't complain about the level of commentary. <laughs> none, our, of us, our, our, none of us, none of us, and the only cast, we have no idea what he got. Our, our focus was uh, maybe a little bit distracted. Um, I think he had, no, he had scroll rack, I remember oh, now. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, Sam's, uh, Sam's scroll racks he ordered got stuck in the mail, so I, I went to, I only had, uh, on the new hand. Ones yeah. on hand. The store uh, owner on doesn't have any nemesis. No, you probably just have them. They're just probably tucked away somewhere. But anyways. I d <laughs> Enough about card arts. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to go on a, a long... They all do the same thing, yes. no matter what they look like. Let's talk about Caleb's deck. For someone who doesn't know what Allurin is. I mean, because it is a deck that's yeah. in, in Legacy, but it's a lot, a lot different there. What is Caleb trying to do? What is his game plan? All right. Caleb gets kind of like... You know, if you were to get a design a card game, like the natural card you would eventually b make is something like Allurin, which is green, green two. You can play any creature that costs three mana or less for free, right? I mean, why wouldn't you make a card like that? It's both players. So what could happen? Both players get to do it. It's fair. You know, it's green. It was it was the sharing color back then. Both players got to do whatever it was, but. It got a little, eventually, they printed enough creatures. It got a little out of hand. <laughs> so this is a lot like the early Allurin, de Allurin decks, um, the, when Allurin first be, like first became a combo deck. So it um, it plays a lot of like great coming to play um, effect creatures like Raven Familiar or um, Wall of Blossoms or some other good ones. Um, and then eventually um, it gets a cavern harpy and then it can like return the raven familiar back to the hand over and over and the cavern harpy also you can pay a life to return it to your hand cavern harpy having getting i'm explaining this in reverse was, order well i was to say i i was hoping that cavern harpy was going to come right now because uh yeah oh well we man war another good one because he can uh, return his raven familiar now replay it for free yeah so if, if sam doesn't have any interaction here which would be I mean, he's tapped out of white, so it's mm -hmm. not going to be like Swords of Plowshares. Yeah. He's going to get a look at another three cards. He's really the card he's looking for yeah. most is is Cavern Harpy, because that would allow him to yeah. not assuredly go off, because he would have to pay a life each time, but he, almost... He gets to pay a life to look at three cards. Yeah. And, it looks yeah. like Caleb ran out of gas, because okay. he is passing the turn to Sam now. Is this problematic? Is this something that, like, can Sam really punish Caleb? Also, there are times... He can like, kill his Aluren. That's yeah. Like... I think that's like what Sam is most looking to do, but he used a seal cleansing on the deal. The deed. I know he does have multiple seals that we saw last mm -hmm. game or last match, but this is one area where um, the mana bases of um, the mana bases of this format kind of get you if you're like a multi or control deck because you can't like you can't have counter spell bata and get your land tax and and get have green for sure everything. Yeah, you kind of have to map out your turn. Like, yeah, if I want to do this, I kind of have to give up something on the earlier turn. Yeah, especially if you're a land tax deck. Right. Sam has assembled the combo of land tax and scroll rack. So now, if Caleb doesn't get things rolling now, Sam's going to be able to go real deep into his deck and um, probably remove that Allurin and get back in this game. So... We, oh, we do have another deed. So in this deed for, I would say, if this deed were for two, then it would get rid of Sam's, Sam's right. permanent and yeah, leave. Yeah, that and leave deed would have been lights out. Yeah. But Counterspell is the response there, so. Caleb's playing Living Witch here. He's going to go get any creature or land from his he's sideboard. Gonna get, so he's going to get Cavern Harpy. So uh, this... Yep, so... Okay, here's yeah. another combo he has. He has Wirewood Savage, which he gets to draw a card anytime a beast gets played. And what would you think Cavern Harpy's <laughs> creature type would be? Bird. Yeah. Bird, human, or, like... No, it's a beast. Yeah, it's a beast. I think it might, it might be a bird beast at this point, but it definitely is a beast. This is one of the weirdest cards to be a beast, I yeah. think. I've always thought. It's kind of got, like, a, like a mutated face, so... Well, okay, let's... Aside from the card arts... 
So what Caleb is doing is he's demonstrated he's able to draw as many cards as he mm, wants. Because yeah. anytime that Cavern Harbor comes into play, he can draw a card thanks to Wired Savage. Yeah. I'm sure Sam replied, okay, how do you kill me? Yep. And, then and so, <laughs> I, I mean, I think the last time Caleb had, he could get Cloud of Fairies. So he could get Infinite Life if he has Soul Woden. Mm -hmm. um, and you can kill either with Maggot Carrier as a way to do it, because that makes each player lose a life. Classic. Um, you could do it with, I think the way that Caleb had is, uh, he would have Cloud of Fairies that so he could get infinite mana, mm -hmm. and then he'd eventually get a Stroke of Genius that is yeah. in his deck and just mill out your opponent and uh, make them draw more cards than they have in their library. So, the, at that point, it didn't really matter yeah. the way Sam or uh, the way that Caleb wins, but um, I'm not sure he has a does he have Mega Carry in his deck? I don't know if he has. I mean, typically there's one on the board, yes. but he might have cut it. Like, you I don't, did alphabetize those deck like, need, <laughs> need, need it. Um, in that situation, I did have somebody. Yeah, I have. I have really liked the pernicious deed in Alurn. I feel like it's really, yeah, made the deck um, more dynamic. Like it's bees you're bees. not. It doesn't feel like you're just locked in on this one combo and then filling it with discard spells right. and like weird creatures. But like the the deed can just buy you so much time or really disrupt your opponent's game plan if there's cards like. Humility or something, mm -hmm. then you have not even. I mean, it's it's a slow answer, but it's like it's a good card. Like it's like yeah. you're not devoting like one slot for a, a narrow answer. It just catches everything, and it it really fits into the alluring game plan that you kind of you were waiting around. You can play the deed and then pop it, and then kind of go off. So it turns into such a a deck, you know. Like you just have like so many tools and and things you can do. Like you're never like like a lot of combo decks. You try you go for your combo. They stop you, and you're out. Mm -hmm. But that is not true with this deck ever. Yeah. You're always you're always able to dig. You're always able to just like grind. You like out card advantage your control opponents a lot of time. It's yeah. We had seen that um, last tournament when Caleb was playing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He does not have the carrier. He has one on the board, so he can wish yeah living for wish for it. So yeah. Four wish for therapy for Lauren. Three, three deed. So we can see the biggest difference. I'm looking at uh, Caleb's sideboard. Is there's four copies of Chill, which I don't think were present in his sideboard last time. Uh, so he's cut down on some of the one ofs, yeah. and he's expecting red decks. And there are a good number of red decks at this tournament. I don't know yeah. if you walked around the tables and kind of looked at, but oh uh, yeah, there's... I saw a Ponza deck. Oh really? Avalanche Rider. His his. Maybe that was the one deck list that I didn't write down. But yeah, uh, maybe. But yeah, there's there's a good amount of um, red in this field. So. Let me find it. Lillibridge. Yep, that was the one. So. John? It sounds right. Mono Red Pass. <laughs> All right. A man after BK's heart. Mm -hmm. Looks a little more sped ready to me, though. All right. So players are shuffling up. So I guess we didn't really talk too much about the sideboard in this situation, but um, there's a couple copies of Sylvan Library that Caleb has. I, I'm going to guess those are going to come in. Because he can exchange his life for cards where... Because his life total is not really pressured by Sam. And, Will never be pressured by Sam. Yeah, and Sam... <laughs> uh, with his Singleton sideboard... Are there cards that you're interested... Uh, Rave Revelation might come in? I don't know that, like... The Red thing Elemental is, Blast? The thing is, is, like, when you have a card like Rave Revelation... Obviously good against Allurin. Though, it's it's not even, like, lights out because they could respond to it. Because uh, the creatures have flash. Yeah. Um, but, like, is it better to be in the board and you have access it with cunning wish because you have two copies of cunning wish and only one copy of the card or do you bring it in to draw it and scroll rack and whatnot i don't that's the I question don't know. i don't know it's it's, <laughs> it's an interesting uh a theory thing um, if i if i know sam black his cutting wishes are still in a sec <laughs> yeah no no i think i'm saying like yeah is, is it better to have a card that you want to draw in your mm -hmm. sideboard because you have more copies of cunning wish than you do the card you're bringing in yeah so but you still have access to it in the deck with a card like scroll rack just finding it naturally so really? i don't i don't know which makes it more likely for you to find a card you really want sam's got humility in his deck humility is very good yeah the... all right we do see the sylvan library well do you think he's gonna pay eight light no no he, he would <laughs> that looks like a ray of revelation that is. is the ray of revelation so i'm wrong he took he took the he took the witches out, I think. No, no, I don't think he took them Maybe out. Not. I, we saw last match where he 
he brought in um, Fire Ice, and like he still had Cunning Wish in his deck. It's just that uh, he's probably taking out some cards that are less important, and then bringing in cards that are just a little bit better on their own. So yeah, the Sylvan Lottery being answered is is good for Sam because uh, now he can. They're kind of even footing at least for a, a card advantage aspect. But we got a uh, veteran explorer indeed. That that's a baby ritual, right? You could blow yeah. it up for one natural combo. Yep. So I wouldn't call it the hard lock. <laughs> Not the Phantom Deshova Zur's weirding. Phantom Deshova Zur's weirding is the hard lock. <laughs> but I dubbed it last night. Yeah. BK was talking about that for like five minutes. He was just running around. Uh... <laughs> it's the hard lock. Yeah. You All don't right. get it, Mike. If I have a Phantom Shovel play, I'm going to attack every turn. Gain seven life. Yeah. And I'm, I can pay two pay. life so you can't draw a card. I got it. Hard so lock. the Veteran Hard Explorer lock. getting in there a few times. So we got... we got. This might be the start of the Bug Garbo beatdowns, but I don't know. I, I feel like Caleb is going to be able to execute his game plan because the amount of per permission that Sam has is mm -hmm. pretty minimal, and a card like Cabal Therapy is just uh, very good against... Uh, Lower decks that don't have a ton of counter magic. Yeah. And uh Sam's got another or Caleb has a second Sylvan Library, which gets raid. Um and now Sam's got Sylvan Library. The Sylvan Library is all around. Yeah. I like I I love um bringing in Sylvan Library if you're Caleb because you wanna enchantment overload your opponent, right? Sure. Like it, it helps it just to have more targets that they have that your opponent has to remove. So when you eventually get to your Aluren, they're they've used up their ray. Caleb is not going to let Sam Sylvan Library either, though. He's gonna he's gonna blow his deed, get two lands. All right, so both players. I think if I'm Are, stab, I put two blue up. They're 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 finding the full amount. They're not they're not hesitating to get both lands. No one's playing chicken. They're not playing around land tax. No way. All right. All right. So. Uh, All right, Better Explorer has resolved. Sam got a horse and a plains, and Caleb got some stuff. I think of horse and island, and he's going to play Raven Familiar. Dig a little more. <laughs> and pass. How do you feel about Raven Familiar beatdowns? It's, those are good Garbo beats. <laughs> we have 35 players here today. Mr. Glans. Yep, 35 players will be doing six rounds of Swiss, and then we're going to cut to a top eight. And we will be doing coverage for all of those rounds. So, And yeah, if this match does finish quickly and there's other players, and we'll try and have someone else jump in the, the feature match, but we didn't want to pass up on the opportunity of having Sam and Caleb uh, Definitely. It, on the feature match. So. How often, like... Do you play Raven Familiar? And how often do you play the Echo? A lot. I, I, mean, I rarely it's... play Raven Familiar, and I I never play the Echo. I feel like in this matchup, you pay the Echo almost you, always. Um, yeah, because if you, you pay it, because if you have so many rebuys for it, you have yeah. Mana War, you yeah. have Cavern RP, and also Sam usually gives you the time. So I guess the body is well, the one two is not very relevant. Yeah. Kill did gonna... not pay Echo. Did not pay Echo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sam likes that awkward spot when you play tax rack decks where all you got is a scroll rack and it always feels bad. <laughs> right. It really doesn't let you see very many extra cards every turn. We got Uktabi Orangutan. Yes. It's going to come in play and target that scroll rack. He's got a lot of cards in his hand. Well, he really hasn't played... I mean, he played a Ray of Revelation twice, so that's mm -hmm. only one card. And then he really hasn't 
played that many cards because two of the lands came from a uh, veteran explorer. So he, Sam really hasn't done that much this this game. Yeah, he might be a little mana stalled, honestly. Outside of the, he got two. He's only played two lands himself. <laughs> Deck lists are not up yet. We haven't, uh... Mike hasn't quite got the chance to enter all those. No, I, they won't be in... Yeah. I mean, I might be able to type them up soon, but they won't yeah. be during this tournament. I mean, we have access in a sense that, like, we have paper deck lists and we can kind of talk about the deck list, but... A big old pile of them. They won't be available online for a while. Sam is racking his brain on what to do. In response to this tabby or anything. And so is there ever a position like can Sam ever set up a board state that he feels safe? I feel like that's never gonna happen happen in this matchup. Like because of like pernicious steed or the the yeah the presence of a Lauren and just comboing. Him You're out. always scared of the looming he doesn't even have a stifle to go get out of his Edward. Which is probably kind of like an unsettling feeling because typically, like, mm -hmm. the I think the idea of when yeah. Sam built this deck is kind of to try and have an answer for everything. Yeah. I mean, I think if he gets the tax rack, he can probably guarantee he has counter spells. Well, this, is, counter. this is probably one of the best cards if it stays in play uh, against against Caleb. Humility yeah. can make things really problematic. I, the, the one thing that, like, I, I keep going back to is it kind of just comes to cabal therapy because if the game is going to go super long uh caleb can have cabal therapy get rid of the counter spells and then resolve a pernicious dude yeah yeah it's there's there's a lot of weapons he's also has factor fiction here after attacking refill. for one with his monkey yeah all right, so we see a quick split from Sam. It is the one Cabal Therapy against, uh, it looks like, quickly, two forest, a cavern harpy, and a bird. So Quickly I, splits into yeah, therapy or no. And, and, yeah, Caleb does take the one card, and so yeah. I think that makes sense. That, like, that card is super powerful in this matchup. So we see Caleb taking a point of life to cast it right away, and we see... He named uh, Land Tax, it looks like, because Sam immediately put it in the graveyard. Okay. Uh, Cunning Wish, Counterspell, Seal Cleansing, and Scroll Rack are the remaining cards. That Humility is in play already. Um, and it looks like we're going to flashback right away. And the Cunning Wish is selected. Interesting. So I guess I was thinking that Counterspell would have been uh, a card that Caleb would have been looking to take. But it's one thing that's possible um, is if he's not really... He can wait. Like, if, yeah. if a counterspell is the card he's going to name later, uh, Cunning Wish at least could be used to get something in the meantime. If if Caleb isn't presenting a threat that he really cares is countered, then Sam can keep it in his hand until Caleb draws another Cobalt yeah. Therapy. There's just also just, like, the question of, like, what can Sam get with this Cunning Wish? I, I guess, you know? like, like, James does point out there's only one island from Sam that also probably is... Probably a lot closer to the calculation that Caleb's made is Counterspell's not online right now. Yeah, also his head might be like he can just get a Counterspell with his Cunning Wish, theoretically. All right, the beatdowns, the 1 1. And Caleb's going to follow this up with a Living Wish. And so that so the Cloud of Fairy still has cycling. So you still can cycle it, right? Yeah. I don't know if that was the intention is just to, to cycle this or if he's going to wait. Because in play, it, the Cloud of Fairies will not trigger because of the humility. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't help thinking he's... Putting all the pieces together in case he does get rid of the humility. Yeah, I I do think I uh, that is likely what Caleb is kind of constructing um, a hand that will once the humility is gone, he's able to, to combo off. Though Cloud of Perry's just doesn't 
doesn't seem like it's necessary in that. Like, I feel like if you just draw the cards, you could find a, a Cloud of Fairies. So, I don't know. I don't know. Caleb's certainly better at playing this deck than me. <laughs> yeah. So, he's doing the right thing. I mean, he, yeah, he, that, that's for sure. And, like, he knows what's in his hand, I don't. And he's, I'm, obviously, he has a plan for that Cloud of Fairies. It's, I'm just, it's not clear to me what, what it is. So, looks like it got cycled. All right. So Caleb has a bunch of mana in play, which, so when I first saw this deck the last time the, that Caleb played it, I'm like, I didn't really feel like Caleb could utilize his mana that well, but against the slower decks where you're kind of jockeying for a position and then taking a big turn, having a bunch of mana in play can be really, um, really good for, for Caleb. Like if, whether it's pernicious deed or just casting, I mean, you might yeah. just cast two allurens in one, one turn or something like that. And so the, the excess mana is not always a bad thing for Caleb. Yeah, his backup is just eking out advantage everywhere he can. Mm -hmm. um, that humility is definitely playing against that. And Sam has assembled uh, tax rack now. It's I think I think Caleb's in a pretty rough spot here. I still feel like Caleb is winning this game. So I oh, I just feel like well I feel like what percentage chance would you put that at? Sixty. Sixty percent. You yes. think Caleb is sixty percent? Yeah. Well, it's got to be higher than fifty. I think he's winning. Right. <laughs> Maybe 51. <laughs> um, we haven't uh, scheduled the next event yet. Um, I thought about doing another one in August because it looked we got some some weekends free there. Um, otherwise, it'd probably be September. Yeah. August or September will be our, our next one. Yeah, the reason why I kind of felt like I like Caleb's position is I don't, like, Sam can draw a bunch of cards, but, like, what is he going to do? He can gain some life. I guess Zur's Weirding is, like, is the one card that, like, could actually do something. But beyond that, it doesn't seem like, I guess you could loop All he has to do is defend his combo. Like, yeah, but uh, defend the defend the humility. And he's, he has, like, I mean, he has Ivory Tower now. Like, he has, like, all his stuff. Precious Caleb. The only way Caleb gets out is with a deed. Yeah, I just feel like Caleb can find a position where he's able to resolve Whoa. a deed because of Forbid Cobalt with therapy. buyback now. All right, is added to the mix. Forbid is the buyback counterspell. Raise your hand if you think that was ever a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So he discards two cards he can buy back. So what if Verbid, like, I'm thinking, because you know the card, like, Slaughter is, like, the buyback Dark Banishing or whatever. Mm -hmm. What if they switched the, what if Forbid was pay for life to bring it back to your hand? Would that make it better or worse? Worse. Okay. That's, that's what I thought. And so and what, He's, if, what if the black one had discarded two cards? But maybe better. Like, I mean, it's okay. hard to say. Like, okay. you, In might, third matchups, it would be way yeah, better. I mean, like, in this deck, you would much rather pay for life to yeah. buy back something. Yep. Sam's yeah. actually running into a problem where he, um... He just can't double counter though because he has he doesn't have blue sources. Yeah, he does have a lot in his deck. We talked about this in the last match that there's like five basic islands, okay. there's flooded strands and undiscovered paradise and mox diamonds. Uh, He's getting his uh, his share of islands here. He's got a big six basics in his hand. And then scroll rack for about a zillion. Hilto is <laughs> up to twenty life now after the, um, uh, the ivory, ivory tower. tower. Yeah. I mean that only matters to the bug garbo beatdown. The alluring deck, I do not think yeah. you really care about the, your opponent's the life. The bug though. garbo beatdown has been shut down at yeah. this point. Yeah. The only I think I think there's the only way to win is comboing at this point. Sam gets a mox diamond and. A undiscovered paradise in the play, very critical for being able to forbid as much as possible. So, 
we saw Caleb deploy. He used two pernicious teeth, correct? And I think there's three in his in his deck. So I think he only has access to one more because two of them have one has been used and one got countered. Right? He only has three. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so he, he probably has one more. I mean, I, I assume he has the fourth on the board. And I mean, without the deed, I don't think he can. I mean, oh, I think I might have seen it in his hand. The third deed. Yeah. But if I guess I was expecting him to like cast two deeds in a row. Yeah, the, the turn that he, he cast it, like I feel like he didn't really take advantage. And there, there are two reasons why he might. One, he might not have had it. Two, you might not want to play a deed and not be able to blow it up for enough. I don't know how much mana he had at the time, but like, because you might fear a seal cleansing coming down, which is in play now. I don't think it was at the time. Okay. Sam has a grip full of counter spells and removal spells at this point. Answer's weirding. And he's racking for about as many cards. All right, so the double land tax here, and now the engine is online. Down to Sam. down to fifty one percent, Caleb. Yeah, I, I don't like Caleb. I guess I was <laughs> so. Let's just say there was still another like deed in in Caleb's hand. Mm -hmm. What if there and were then, three deeds in Caleb's? <laughs> well, you just wait. You wait until you draw a Cobalt Therapy. Yeah, yeah. And then you play it, and right. you gain counter spell, and then you flashback, and then but you the... can then you can undo all this work that Sam's done, and then. And then, like, the I agree one... with that. But when your opponent's drawing four cards a turn, it's it's yeah. rough, right? Five, really. You get to draw, and then exchange at least four for mm -hmm. new cards. He has all. I think I believe Sam has all four counter spells in his deck in his hand right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we waiting for the Azura's weirding? He has it in his hand. I think he just hasn't played it because he'd rather not, like, because okay. he has four counter spells. <laughs> you know, how would you rather not play Azura's weirding? I will. How? How many things? Well, how many things do you want to do that are more than you? Honestly, than locking someone else. Once, weirding? once I have more counter spells than my opponent has cards in hand, I probably drop the Azura's weirding. <laughs> Or can ca and can cast him. He was a little short on blue mana before, and now he's he just dropped cast two Mox Diamonds. So I think it's probably coming down. I would see a reason to like stall around here. He might have. Sam also might have just thrown the Zer's Wordings back in the deck. The Zer's Wording back in the deck. Yeah, I mean he'll find it because he's got the scroll rack. Mm -hmm. Forbid he's, is this like forbid with buyback when you put it back in your deck with uh guys blessing? It is like that. He he put he put it he put a basic island back in his deck too. <laughs> I mean when you have all those counter spells, then yeah, I can see that. That is a card you want to draw. It's it's pretty good, um it's pretty good forward thinking. Alright, now we got guys blessing target guys blessing and some more basics. Yep. So Sam's doing doing his thing. He's you can't have too many basics <laughs> no, not with not with three land packs. No, you cannot. Don't get the bit. Don't get in the way of my nine extra cards a turn. <laughs> By having a limited amount of basics in your deck to get. Ooh, Sam or okay, wait, 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 Caleb is stroking. Uh, I think it was just targeting. I don't know how many cards were in Sam's deck. I don't think he had. Le I don't think it was like a lethal stroke. Yeah. I think that was just uh, a value one that got countered. Yeah. Caleb is. Uh, Conceding. Okay. So we're done here. It's been enough. So I was wrong. That's that's what it comes down to. So 
I would like to get the exact cards that were in play in hand <laughs> there. And, just... and or I guess the hand Sam's can can be randomized. Oh, I but, had, uh, oh, sorry. I want I want Skorak and Lantax in play and like you can, you can have add deed I guess and we'll just like <laughs> run it out twenty times. <laughs> so players are gonna shuffle up for a third game, but I mean I still feel like Caleb has a deck advantage here. Um. You're not convinced? I, I don't know. There's all just a lot of things that happen, a lot of things that go on. Um both both top tier players, you know. Well that's for sure. Um and well, there's a lot of decisions points for both players in this matchup, um, figuring out what matters and um what to fight over. I'm gonna go check how much time is in the round. Yeah, I think I think there's a decent amount of time left in the round, but we'll we'll find out. Thirteen and a half minutes. Thirteen and a half minutes still. Um, so close to a third of the round is still left. But, uh, I mean, it seems like less of an issue for Caleb. It's more of like, it's more like less the decision and actually more of like the dexterity of like physically like scroll racking and shuffling. I yeah. think with the land tax is more the issue because I'm sure these players are used to, uh, being in situations where they need to play faster. Yeah. But... I think you're going to see some, some very fast play by both players yeah. here. So we'll try to keep up for you. So Caleb um, gets to be on the play. Looks like, I think I see a pernicious deed in his hand, which is probably something he's always looking for. Uh, and he's going to start off. Probably the best possible. This, okay, it is a Cabal Therapy right away. What do you name in the dark? Oh my god, Cabal Therapy. Sandby can't possibly win that. I, I was gonna say I <laughs> was kidding. Um I was I gonna know, say land tag. Probably names land tag. That's what I was gonna say. Um, but now no one's gonna believe me because it already happened. I believe you, Mike. Alright. I think I think it's a pick. Taking notes, we got counter spells, there's reading. See the thing is, you I'm know familiar, about your, you, I'm, I'm familiar with the leave them up protocols yeah. of the well, format. It also like <laughs> with scroll rack at some point. Like, if you knew their cards in the hand, it's going to change very drastically when there's a scroll rack, so. Sam runs his tower out after drawing a Enlightened Tutor, which I think, uh... I guess he can just cast Lion Tax next to He's reading the hand of Sam yeah. with another Cabal Therapy. This time, naming scroll rack. Looks like Enlightened Tutor was drawn. This is rough for Sam, because if Caleb has another creature, it's going to be, uh... Like, the dream is to have a veteran explorer here, right? <laughs> I mean, uh... Because then he gets, like, he therapies him again for it, his tutor. It's two more lands. It depends on, like, how problematic, like, Sam getting two lands in that spot would be. Like, yeah, I don't know true. if, like, turboing out... Like, he does a counter spell. Yeah. Turboing out Azura's Weirding, does that ever cause problems? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I think I think I mean, Azura's Weirding is quite powerful against Caleb's deck. I mean, yeah, and, and Sam already has an Ivory Tower in play, so, like, if... if Zerith Rating came down right away, then it'd be possible that like, if Caleb didn't have the wind in his hand, that Sam would be able to prevent it. Um, Caleb, Caleb is, is under the four line, though. We're going to see that deed show up here. Or do you think he waits until he can activate it? Probably has to, He knows the come up about the counter spell, so he, he kind of has to just roll it out there, I think. But I guess Sam can't cast the counter spell. Yeah. Chat chat asks if Sam's the bad guy in this matchup, like the bad guy, good guy. I think I think the Bant Oath or Bant Control deck is considered the bad guy against Allure, and I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. Okay. I don't I don't think there's any bad guys or good guys yeah. here. I could I could buy that. Combo's usually the bad guy, right? Yeah, I feel like I feel like the Allure deck is like the good guy combo deck. Because it I don't know, it just doesn't feel dirty. I don't know. You think Parfait's reason. dirty? People just don't like decks that like don't win kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah. And I mean, I enjoy playing them. I sometimes they're really fun to play against, but I can see how you could like pin it as the bad guy. Yeah. All right, pernicious deed in play. Uh, this could be real problematic for Sam. I think he wants to find a seal cleansing would be the best thing he could do right here. Get get rid of this, and that's what He's he does. Got it. Uh, so the, yeah, that wow. that kind of hurts because I. That's that's a rough beat. He's at Sam's at twenty two as well. Okay. He's taking the life up. Well, Caleb responds with an Alluren. 
but All nothing. Right. Well, which oh. happens sometimes with Lauren. Sometimes you play it and you don't have anything. But yeah. importantly, not only does it let you play three Castle Gods creatures for free, it also lets you play them at instant speed. Yeah. <laughs> And so, I mean, once he's deployed to learn, if it stays in play, then there can be positions like any time that Sam taps out, he could be at risk of of kind of like dying. I don't think he has the combo. Kayla has the combo because he would have just killed him when Sam was tapped out. But going forward, Sam might be have to be a little bit cautious about certain things. Sam is rolling a lightning tutor out. What are you getting here? Um. Okay. Yeah. I, I was thinking that maybe I was thinking he might get a distant channel of some kind. Okay. I was maybe Sam's like doesn't feel like he needs to like maybe he thinks like okay I'll let you have the allure in and I'll just counter all your threats you know. Okay. Got a cabal therapy being cast. So oh this was then Lion Tutor was in response to the cabal therapy. I didn't realize that that's where we were. Um, okay. I don't I... think that's true. Oh. I think it was end of turn okay. in Lion Tutor and then I think. Caleb untapped and okay. played Cabal Therapy. So, Cabal Therapy gets countered. Now a Living Wish is going to give access to a creature for Caleb, and it looks like he's finding Raven. So, Raven Familiar. Again, this can be deployed at yeah. instant speed, so... Yeah, and, and Caleb's just trying to, like, cover his combo, basically, like, with the therapy. So, like, Sam countering it helps him out in a lot of ways. Or it, it, does, it does the job, you yeah. know? Well, so if if Caleb finds uh, Cavern Harpy, that would be the best situation. Mm -hmm. I didn't find that. Otherwise, I think he would have just slammed it. Yeah, it looks like he got a Wirewood Savage. Okay, that is... He's going to flashback the therapy. Okay, he takes Zero's Ridding, and so it just leaves Sam with a bunch of lands. Yep. So Sam's playing off the top. He doesn't... He's going to draw the scroll rack. Uh, and so he does have access basically to virtually more cards even this turn. Right. So he's he put gonna... them all back. Put them all back, draw five here? I think so. Might have been six, but somewhere around there. Let's go to Paradise and go. So Caleb not running out the Wirewood Savage. Just, right. just to beat down. He's going to wait. I, his he plan. has the Harpy, right? Uh, does he? Yeah, I, yeah. I think I do see in his hand. But he does have to worry about Plow. Plow. Well, so... Oh, he's got another Wirewood Savage. And so... So, okay. So the combination of this Wirewood Savage is whenever a beast comes yeah. into play, you can draw a card. Cavern Harpy's a beast. Yeah. It can just bounce itself. And so Caleb's going to get to go through his deck and execute his combo. So yeah. we see uh, Sam prompting the concession there. Um, yeah. So Caleb's back hand from Caleb. Yep. Three, three Cabal Therapies and a Deed and an Aluren. Yeah, and a definitely, definitely had the, the tools that he needed to fight that are really good against Sam's deck in the spot. So um, I'm going to assume, I'm going to check the other tables. I, I'm going to assume that we're not going to have time to move someone up to the other match, but... I'll check real quick. DG indeed, MTG banning. There might be like one match playing, but I think they're finishing up. So okay. So we have a, a little bit of time to, to chat. What do you want uh, want to talk about? Any. Metagame of decks, pre modern in general. What do you want to talk about, BK? Um, let's talk about the meta. You, you, you went through all the, the decks people are playing, and you seem to think that there is a lot more um, homogenization, well, is what you called it. Well, the last the meta, time that we so. had about 40, was it just under 50? Last stars. time was a jungle. Yeah, yeah and it was, yeah, it was the, nothing. But... Stasis was the most popular deck. There were like five copies, and then there were like four land stills and yeah. like four sly. And then it was pretty much just like ones and twos beyond that. Yeah. Here I feel like the metagame is a lot of a lot of land still, a lot of sly, a lot of goblins, and is there another archetype I'm thinking? Mm. It felt like a lot a a good makeup of, of was that. And so Yeah. Uh probably those three. So it'll be interesting to see um if kind of just that bulk of the field is what's gonna yeah. push 
push to the top to get a top eight, or if people are finding like decks like Sam Black with the 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 band control or Caleb with his allure and combo are finding holes in kind of like what I would expect. Like I mean, Landstill, Sly, and Goblins are kind of pillars of the pre-modern format. Right. It'd be interesting to see if uh, people with the the less representative decks are able to to rise to the top. So let's see. Um, yeah. Um, was there anything? Nothing else that was like super representative, though, right? I can't. I can't remember. I'm trying to find the sheet where I, I got right here. That. Uh, All right, we got. And then I guess a few parfait, a few oath decks. Yeah. I'll take this opportunity for chat. If you guys want to chime in, if there's any particular deck that you do want to see on camera, uh, we might be able to make an effort to get that on in a future round. Uh, is Turtle Splash Tier Zero? So uh, I certainly wouldn't say it's Tier Zero. I think it definitely could be uh, a consistent deck. It'll be interesting to see if the meta game shifts it to all, but shifts to to beat it at all but i definitely don't think it it i don't think it will always stay at the top i think it's a deck that can be hated out yeah i it's good it's super good yeah i, I mean, love that deck yeah um hey it's i think it's rough for a lot of decks to beat sure there's still a decent number of, there's like at least two states decks right uh, we saw Ricky. I don't know if there's anyone else. It looks like this too. It might be the, the, where's the other one? At the bottom. That's, that's Ricky. Yeah. And then two above the. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So there's, there is another player. All right. So yeah. Um, so we do have a, a lot of like the land still and the goblins and sly. And then, I mean, it's probably still, I mean, obviously diverse. It's a pre-modern format. That's what we see a lot, but, um. So yeah, yeah, it's hard for it not to be diverse. Chat, let me know if there's there's something that you're looking to see. Um, well, we did we did feature Stasis in round one, so um, single star spangled slaughter. Yep, that list was really interesting. If that one gets on stream, I do want to talk about because I it will be interesting did, to see. Did uh, you hear what he cut? Did no. See what he cut? Oh well, I oh. I'm assuming what it is, but I there there was one thing I got a little excited, especially given like the meta game. But we'll talk about it if that deck comes up. Mm. Um, yeah, so I guess yeah, he that, told me what he did, but I haven't seen his list. Is is there anything else you want to touch on? Otherwise, I think we'll we'll go to a quick break. Um, just pretty awesome seeing Sam Black and Caleb yep. play against each other. It was like a lot of great, great magic there, great decisions. Yep. So yeah, uh, still, if you want to chime in, chat about what you're looking to see, but we're gonna go on a break. I'm gonna get probably some food a little bit and just. Just take a deep breath. I feel yeah. like we feel like everything just keeps keeps going. It's keeps been kind of nonstop so far. Yep. So uh, we will go to a quick break, and we will see you for round four. Thanks, everyone. See you in a bit. <laughs> 